how do habitats change? Habitats can change from natural causes. Floods, droughts, fires, animals, and changes in weather all affect why habitats change. A drought is a long period of time without any water. So that's when there's no rain coming to add to the climate. Floods can also change a habitat. And floods could be caused from long periods of rain or lots of snow melting. Fires can also destroy a habitat. Fires can happen naturally or be caused by humans. How do habitats change? Humans are also a reason that habitats change. We destroy these habitats with construction, destruction, and pollution. People change habitats when they build houses or buildings. Trees have to be knocked down. Grass has to be dug up. Deforestation happens um, and destroys forest habitats for plants and animals. The cutting down of large areas of trees and forests. Think of all the plants and animals and insects that lose their habitats and homes due to this. And what happens when habitats change? Well, animals may not be able to find food, water, or shelter if their habitat is changed. Plants and animals can die from changes in a habitat. When many of one kind of animal die and only a few are left, the animal is considered endangered. And if no animals are left, they are extinct. Polar bears are endangered. Tigers are endangered. So that means these species of animals there's not many of them left. They're at risk of becoming extinct. Sea turtles are also endangered. Gorillas are endangered. The dodo bird is extinct. There is no more of this species of bird in existence. There are none alive. An animal called a quagga which is half horse and half zebra, is also extinct. Dinosaurs are also extinct. How can we tell how a habitat used to look? Well, scientists use fossils to learn about habitats in the past. A fossil is what is left of a living thing from the past. And scientists can use fossils to tell if the habitat has changed over time. So this is an example of a fossil that has been found. This fossil was found in the desert. And what does it tell you about what the habitat used to look like in the past? So you will look at this picture right now, and then on the next slide, you're going to write down what you think it tells you about what the habitat used to be like. So go ahead and click to the next slide now.